A lot of people ask us about diffuse reflectance. How do I perform a reflectance measurement? How do I perform a diffuse reflectance measurement? Once again, the 150 millimeter integrating sphere is your friend. Let's pretend we have a sample which I will place in the back. I have previously collected a correction file with my Spectralon puck, the reflectance puck. This is a calibrated known material. We must know the value of this material to then compare that with the unknown. This is a relative measurement. Place that in here. As you can see in here, nothing is changed, nothing is removed. Let's look at the software. Amongst the variety of data collection conditions, there are several that are very important. Number one, the percent reflection ordinate mode must be, collect, must be selected, percent R. And then, under corrections, we need to tell the software what the spectralon puck material was. So under correction type here, we say percent RC, and then we can actually designate a default file for spectralon. That is to say the software already contains some information about what that material is in order to do the comparison. However, technically that is not correct. What one should do is input via the import button the correct correction file for their specific material which will be slightly different not by much but it can be critical so select import would be used for specific calibrated traceable materials then we press start we are now collecting the total reflectance of a diffuse material and we're using a spectralon material as a essentially a standard. Thus we are comparing apples to apples. Now that we've collected the total reflectance data we can then do another, we can then use another step. Sample re remains in the reflectance port We can actually remove this part of the integrating sphere, commonly referred to as the specular exclusion port. The angle at which the sample um, faces the beam is 8 degrees. Thus, this exclusion port allows any specular component to be dumped from the integrating sphere. Thus, we are collecting diffuse reflectance only. So two measurements, total reflectance, diffuse reflectance, one minus the other gives us the calculated specular reflectance. As you can see, the uh, diffuse reflectance is about 5% lower than the total, meaning that the specular reflectance component is about 5% approximately.